Dave D, age 64, and I live in uh, York, Pennsylvania. I guess I was about 17 and you know, I had some friends that uh, uh, were dabbling in heroin. Came to the realization uh, that uh, I needed to quit shooting heroin if I wanted to stay out of jail. May 31st, 1984, when I went to treatment. And I have uh, continuous sobriety you know, since then. I was seeing a therapist at the time and uh, I didn't have insurance at the time, uh, but he got me a scholarship, you know, thank God, at the treatment center uh, that I now work at. It was the first time I admitted I needed help and I couldn't do it alone. A lot of other people had done the same things I had done and were able to recover. And I tell people the program does work, but you have to work it, you know. Uh, you have to make that phone call. You gotta make that meeting when you don't wanna make a meeting. You know, you have to, uh, uh, as my first sponsor said, he called it the bank of sobriety. And he said, make those deposits. You know, every meeting you go to, every every time you share with somebody, every 10 step you do, every time you help somebody, you know, uh, uh, you put another deposit in the bank of sobriety. We really need to have a clear cut definition and a way to, you know, uh, uh, talk about addiction, you know. Uh, we're not quite there yet. I still go to meetings today. I'm still active in the program. Uh, one of the greatest joys uh, that I have is helping another. That's the biggest reward I get still to this day in recovery, helping somebody find the path to recovery. I, I'm a better husband. I'm a better father. I'm a better employee. And, and most importantly, I, I'm a better person that can help others. That's how recovery's changed my life.